What's your most awkward sorry, but I don't work here experience. Made the mistake of wearing an orange t-shirt to Home Depot. I was approached 4 or 5 times walking back to the lumber section. The funny thing is the expression of confusion and denial on people's faces. I would say oh, I don't work here, just wore the wrong shirt today, and they would stare at me perplexed wondering if I was fricking with them. I was at a local thrift store, looking at old typewriters with my sister. They were very very cheap and she's a writer so I was buying her one. There was a fellow there who heard me ask out loud a question about how it works. He was a nice old guy who came over and showed me the inner workings of the unit for a solid 50-60 minutes. He was very passionate about typewriters and had expert level knowledge. After an hour of him showing me everything you could imagine with a typewriter and how they work I asked a question about price. He responds with well I don't know that because I don't work here. I just like typewriters. Yeah, no thrift store worker has expert level knowledge on the stuff they are selling. Not unless it's more of an antique shop or a specialty store. I was in the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, a very busy store. I asked the shop owner something, and he just said give me a plastic bag which I did. I understand Turkish. Then I helped him for a couple of minutes, putting things in bags. I was just trying to help since he was really stressful. He apologized so many times when he realized I wasn't one of his employees, and gave me a discount. This one is pretty good lol. It's one thing for a customer to make a mistake, but for the owner management, that's pretty hilarious. I was at a local computer and game store and this elderly gentleman asked me where they put the controllers for PS3. I told him sorry I don't work here so I don't really know. He goes seriously why do you even work here if you don't know where anything is, dumbass. 10 stroke 10 would go to that store again. Imagine the asinine people the folks who do work there have to put up with then. Source, I work at a video game store. I was browsing movies at HMV when a lady came up to me and asked if I had Star Wars on Blu-ray. I was like yeah, of course, they're my favorites then she asks where they are. Um, at my house. That's when I realized she thought I worked there and wasn't just wanting to talk about Star Wars. That's adorable. Worked at a Petco that was right next to her Best Buy. So same blue shirt and khakis. Only different logos. I went over to pick up a game right after work and got sucked into a chat with a guy about picking out a laptop. After 10 minutes of going through the pros cons of various brands, he decides he'd like to get one. I was just like, cool. Well good luck with that. I used to work in a bar that was about a 5 minute walk from Tesco, a grocery store. Every Saturday afternoon the bar would hit the lull between 4 and 5, so I'd get sent to Tesco to pick up fruit, mint and juice for the night. And seemingly every Saturday, some customer in Tesco would come up to me as mistake me for stuff there. My work uniform didn't even look similar to the Tesco uniform. I never understood it. The best case of mistaking me for somebody who worked in Tesco was this. A woman came up to me. While I had my hands full of cartons of juice, she started complaining about crappy service and unhelpful staff. I tried telling her that I didn't work there but she kept cutting me off. Eventually she demanded to speak to my manager. I responded with her you'll have to go to the bar around the corner to speak to the manager. That's where she is. The woman looked shocked for a second but then said oh well that explains why this place is run like a poor excuse for a circus. Your manager is off in a bar, drinking on the job. I should have guessed it. To which I responded no. I work in that bar and was sent here for stock. If you want to speak to my manager, you can go to my workplace and talk to her. She realized immediately the mistake she had made and became much nicer and very apologetic to me. What an absolute B. When I was done working and had gotten back to my apartment, still in my mailman clothes, I was stopped by a woman asking me whether or not I had her package. I had to explain to her that I wasn't at work and that I had been her neighbor the past two years. Upvote for the use of mailman clothes instead of uniform. Username checks out. My ex-girlfriend worked in sales, and she worked all the time so for a while the her brain was just wired for it. We were in a store on Sunset Boulevard. We live in LA, and she's got her hair buried in the racks of clothes not really paying attention to anything. Next thing you know, Josh Groban walks in. But she doesn't notice because she's too busy rooting around. 
Eventually they're standing pretty close together when she finally looks up and they make eye contact. She's so surprised to see Josh Groban that her brain immediately kicks into instinctual mode and she asks him. Hi. Can I help you with anything? Oh. No thanks. I'm just looking. Josh Groban tells her. Immediately. She realizes what she's done and then tries to correct it by freezing completely still for what seems like forever and then telling him. I'm sorry. I don't actually work here. Josh Groban. Okay. It was one of the most amazing, awkward exchanges I've ever witnessed. Are you sure I can't help you with anything? Degrees degrees. I spent 15 minutes helping an old couple pick out a laptop in Best Buy one time. I'm walking through the store to grab a cable we needed at work for a quick repair and this man and his wife are huddled together like Hansel and Gretel and the lady asks me can you please help us? I asked them some questions about their usage and steered them toward an appropriate machine. We discussed general maintenance and best practices. I advised them on free software to remove the pre-installed bloatware and perform antivirus duties. Once they had a grasp on it and had taken notes. I excused myself and went to get the cable. After I make my purchase and I'm heading out, I see the old couple talking to the manager and they crow their ears I hadn't even realized I was wearing a blue polo shirt and they had thought I was an employee. They had been up front telling the smiling manager about the wonderful young man who helped them and how this had been a great experience after going to three other stores. The manager's face fell and he said he doesn't work here. He doesn't work here. Yet. Seriously. I'd have asked you to bring in a resume. You can always tell the quality of a person by how they treat people they are not required to treat well. You don't work there. You had no reason to be nice or helpful. You could have even said I don't work here. And left. Instead, you went out of your way to help perfect strangers. I was at dinner in a decent restaurant in LA. I was wearing a suit but had taken my jacket off and wasn't wearing a tie so it was black shoes pants and a white shirt. I went to the bathroom and was passing this table and this guy grabbed my arm as I was walking past and said sorry. Could you find out where our wine is? We asked you ages ago. At this point I hadn't realized I resembled the stuff in this place and was a bit shell shocked. So I said sure and went for a pee. On my way back I thought I'd be a dutiful human being and go tell the barman. As it was on my way. That this guy hadn't had his wine. The barman slapped his forehead and said hang on and gave me a glass of white to take to him. Which I did and apologized for the delay and the guy appreciated it too. Then I sat down and went on with my dinner. You probably broke a liquor law by doing that. You're nice though. I was at Target right after work. I had on a red polo and car keys and it had my company name embroidered on it that starts with a T. I was doing some networking stuff so I wasn't wearing my normal dress clothes. I forget what I was buying but I had my cart full and my purse over my shoulder. A woman asked me where the laundry detergent was. I am used to this so I just told her that I think it is down a few aisles. This woman lost her ever loving mind on me saying that I was a horrible employee. I should know where everything is in my store. I will never be paid above minimum wage because I am so dumb. She wanted my name, my supervisor's name and the number to corporate. It was after her rant that I politely informed her mom. I don't work here. I was just telling you where I saw it while shopping for my own stuff she didn't believe me and went to find a manager. I went to the checkout. I guess she found a manager and brought him to where I was checking out. Started demanding that he reprimand me. He then informed her that I didn't in fact work there. She was flabbergasted and just walked away. No apology no nothing. The manager however did apologize to me. I told him no problem. Not his fault. You can't fix stupid. I wish I could stop wearing red polos at Target. Once I was at Walmart pretty late at night. Around 11. I think I was looking for cold medicine or something like that. Anyway. A woman who looks to be in her late 30s. I'm 20 comes up to me and shows me her child's school supply list, asking if I can help her find some portfolio folder or something. I was about to tell her that I didn't work there when I saw her daughter, who looked to be around 7 or 8, in one of the aisles peeking out and looking tired and a little nervous. I know how Walmart can be in terms of finding an employee to help you, so I decided to just stick around and help them find everything on the list. I realized that neither of them spoke very much English, which made some of the items on the lists confusing. It took a good 20 minutes but they were both really grateful and nice. I guess it's not really an awkward story like you asked for, but still a story. 
A couple weeks ago I was at my local PetSmart chatting with the one guy there who really knows his stuff. I have a good deal of experience with aquariums but I like to run my ideas by other people before I try them out. We are talking, but a customer comes up so he breaks off to assist them. As I am standing there looking at the fish an old woman walks up to me and asks about what kind of bowl and food she should get for the goldfish her grandson brought home from the fair. I start to tell her I don't work there but as I glance around the guy I was talking to and the other employee was still busy. So it went kinda like this. Oh. I I don't really, you know, the thing is, goldfish actually need a fairly large aquarium, so you should either get at least a 30 gallon set up with this filter and such, or if you don't want to invest that much, I'm sure the store would be more than happy to take it off your hands, and if you'd like a more manageable fish, I would recommend a better, now here are some good setups for them, yada yada yada, I finish helping the old woman. And immediately another customer. At this point I notice there is a mini rush as it is around 5ish and people are stopping by after work. Comes up to me and asks a question about what fish would work well in her son's guppy tank. At this point I'm pretty much committed and I decide to help her too. Eventually after about 25 minutes and several more customers. The crowd thins out and I go back to my conversation with the employee. I ended up helping PetSmart sell several fish and one aquarium that day. When I was a teenager I worked in Virgin Records, renamed to Virgin Mega Stores in the UK now. I had finished my shift and I'd had a pretty crappy day. I was browsing to buy a couple of CDs to cheer myself up. A customer walked up to me and started asking questions. I'd dealt with customers all day, so I breezily replied sorry, I don't work here. Customer responds but you're wearing a Virgin uniform. There was a super awkward pause during which I could easily have said I'm off duty and about to leave and recovered, but in panic said I just like to wear it and walked out of the store. You know those moments when years later you recall an awkward encounter and just shudder? That's my scumbag brain's go to moment. I wear my virgin uniform all the time too. Around Christmas time, I was on my lunch hour, in my uniform, picking up some Christmas stuff. I was in a card shop and this man in his 60s hit me over the head with a wrapping paper roll as a joke before apologizing profusely on realizing I was a customer there. Having said that, I don't know why that would ever be considered a thing to do to someone who you don't know, whether they work there or not. I never resolved it. I was 16 and awkward. You passed up a great opportunity for a spontaneous wrapping paper sword fight. I was at the PX trying to pick out a rotisserie chicken for dinner, when a guy came up to me and began asking where a couple of items were located in the store, knowing that new people were always incoming. I told him what aisle some of the items were in, but then said I was sorry for not knowing where one or two of them were located. He then got mad at me and said I should know the layout of where I work, and he was about to walk away angrily when I stopped him. I let him know that the people who work at the store wear a certain uniform. And as I wasn't wearing one, I obviously didn't work there. He still seemed mad, and said well, if you didn't look like a stalker you wouldn't have had to deal with me asking you questions and then he walked off. It's your own fault for looking vaguely like this personal mental image I have. My brother was at Best Buy, and was mistaken for an employee because he was wearing a blue shirt. The first time someone asked him where something was, he politely told them he didn't work there but he did tell them where the product was. The second time this happened, he thought he'd have some fun and pretty much had this guy following him all around the store looking for something my brother had no clue where it was. The guy eventually asked do you even work here my brother simply replied nope. The guy stormed out of the store so fast. My brother just went back to what he was doing. Finally, a place to share my stories. When I was younger, around 14, I used to go shopping with my mother, as I'm sure lots of people do. She told me to wait outside a store while she quickly went in and I coincidentally was wearing a similar outfit to the store clerks. Blue top, grey pants jeans, an older woman walked toward me and practically yelled out that she had gone online and found a product she wanted, and demanded that I take her to it. I politely said that I didn't work there, and that was the end of his right, wrong. She claimed that I had to work there I was wearing the uniform. I tried to argue otherwise but she just insisted that I work there and that she'll tell my manager. Eventually my mum returned and we both left, but I still fill with rage at the thought of this woman. 
Mom, I don't work here. Yes you do. Oh, okay. The dress code for the company I worked for was this black pullover and the standard dress shoes trousers. I usually walk up to Asda Walmart for lunch and stood for about 5 minutes deciding which sweet chocolate I should get. As I'm looking, I get a tap on the shoulder. There is a woman standing there and she begins shouting at me I have been standing here asking you for help for 5 minutes I give her a weird look and she realizes I don't work at Asda and she gets embarrassed and walks away. As I'm walking to the till I notice someone who actually worked at Asda is kind of the same attire except they have Asda in big green letters over their jumper. You have been visited by the safe driving doggo you will be blessed with safe driving for 100 years, but only when you comment, drive safe, doggo. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video, or don't, either way, have a great day you magnificent people.